jeez. <laughs> <laughs> oh, well, hello everyone, and welcome back to the Hunter Call of the Wild. We're out on Veronga Savannah again because uh, we got the Gems Block released today, along with the new user interface. Wow, I almost messed that up. Uh, that we'll take a look at here in just a minute. But I'm joined as usual by my good buddy there, Mr. Non. How are you doing today? I'm pretty good, thanks, Sean. And I'm what is glad that? to be back out on the map with you, man. Oh, you man. Got? There's a scrub here, like right yeah. here. And I brought the uh, 470 just for it. Oh, there we go. That's one way to get it can check. <laughs> there it goes. <laughs> Obliterated. <laughs> oh, there it goes. Ah, that must have been that piggy you were talking about. You could hear earlier. It just went running over that way somewhere. Oh, there it is. I see a bit around the lake. Three easy there. Yeah. If you want to take a running mm. shot on that, you can. Check your consex. I could try, but I've lost him in the scrub down. Ah, uh, let me see if I can see. Oh, uh, there's another scrub here. <laughs> uh, is that away from you? Um, The scrub here is 130 from me. Oh, and I just lost it. Yeah. Oh, it doesn't matter. Oh, we'll find something. Let me go and say hello to chat real quick. We had uh, Caleb Sears, first one in the room, followed by Non on both sides of the glass. Then my man, Mr. Killa B. How you doing, bud? Followed by Eliza and then Wolverine. Hey, Wolverine, how's it going? And then Mr. Sam Moose. He says, how are you doing? I'm doing great. Uh, I don't know. He asks if we think we'll get a diamond uh, Gimsbok today. I would um, love to get one. I mean, hey. <laughs> There's one on the map, I'm pretty sure you will. Right? <laughs> oh, well, let's hope so. But yeah, I hadn't actually hunted this area for uh, Gimsbach yet, so I wanted to start down here, and we'll just work our way north. Here, I'll show you where we're at on the map, because this, for me, is the uh, Gimsbach hotspot, all in this area, these little watering holes. So we'll get to go check those out, but I wanted to check down here since there was another watering hole and see if they were hanging out here, but I don't see any or signs of any. So we'll just continue to work north and uh, pretty much if it moves, it dies kind of a stream, but you know, we're going to be looking for the Gimsbach more than anything. And we've got Ki uh, Silver Moons here as well. Hey, Silver Moon, how's it going? As well as Big Bubba 1970 and Mr. Dad Nader. Good to see you. Glad you made it. And hey, Quartz, I need to do something real quick to your name there, bud. If I can click the right one here. Let's see. There we go. That's better. You should be in blue now, Mr. Quartz. Thanks again for all the support. Uh, for those of you that don't know, my man Quartz is a legend. He uh, joined the $10 Patreon tier, and so he is now a mod on my channel. So... Appreciate it, bud. Nicely done, Quartz. And Killer B says he's doing all right, just laying in bed. Pretty out of it, as you could tell earlier. Oh, yeah, I could tell. I, I hang around you enough to know uh, you sounded a little inebriated there. So I'm <laughs> glad to hear the uh, pain medication is doing its trick and keeping you uh, out of pain as much as possible. And... We've got Dan Stacy. How's it going, Dan? And Dylan Harris. How's it going? Glad you could make it to the stream. Do me a favor, guys. If you haven't already and you enjoy what you see, smash that like button. Uh, if you want to see more, hit the subscribe and tap the bell next to it, and you'll get notified anytime we go live or uh, upload a video. And Stace Helfrick just rolled in as well. We got some need zones up here, Non. Don't know what they're yeah, for. Yeah, I saw that. Uh oh, I just crashed. Did you crash? Yeah, the game just froze completely. I had that happen to me earlier today when I was playing um, on a random multiplayer. So I'm not sure okay. uh, what that is. This is just a Kudu Need Zone. The game didn't want you to have any more Kudu Need Zones. That's all it was, Non. Probably. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'll be back in a minute. And the funny thing is, you know, me and Non, we hang out for a good 30 minutes before stream. 
with the map up and going. And Cody Stottlemyre just subscribed. Thanks for the subscription, Cody. Appreciate it, bud. Good to have you with us. But uh, me and Nolan, we spend like 30 minutes before each stream just hanging out, making sure everything's running nice and smooth, no issues. And then, you know, lo and behold, five minutes in. And, Bang, uh, crash. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we do have some warthogs. We do have a lot of animals in this area, apparently. A bunch of kudus, which I'm not too concerned with. But the warthogs, you got to watch your back. Those, wow, that's a big female kudu. Do you see that? A hundred kilogram female kudu? What? Yeah, this track right here. A hundred to a hundred and five kilogram female kudu. That can't be right. I <laughs> Max weight was a hundred on a male, no? That's what I thought. I kind of want to find her now. <laughs> Yeah. I mean, she won't have any kind of trophy rating because she doesn't have any horns, but. Might still get a diamond, though, no? Well, you? no, because she wouldn't have a trophy it's... rating. Because it's. The, oh, sorry. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The Gimsbot get the trophy rating because the females have the uh, the horns. Ah, uh, righty up with you. Wow. I'm up above you, um, on your left, coming down. So. Yeah, there's a pig right here. I don't know if it's going to attack, so we're going to shoot it in the face. There we go. <laughs> that kind of scared me. <laughs> Wasn't even looking <laughs> in the center of the screen. I was staring off to the right and looked straight, and boom, there's a pig. <laughs> Not a bad one, though. Level 3. Got a silver out of it. 771. I'll take it. But, oh, and then Mr. Tim Kent's here as well. Hey, Tim, glad you could make it. Good to see you. And Cody says, I've been away for a while. Don't judge me, Swan. <laughs> That's a little Billy <laughs> Madison <laughs> reference for those of you that aren't uh, big into movies. I got what you're putting down there, Cody. Let's see. Got anything else in the area? Kind of hang out for a minute. Give Non a few minutes to catch up to us here. I actually hear stuff barking in between me and you. That's why I just heard something. Wasn't quite sure what it was. So if you see something between me and you, go ahead and smack it and check your concepts. Yeah, well, I certainly will. Oh man, that's a pretty big level four kudu. Don't tell me they're still pre patch kudu diamonds in here that's a pretty big one i don't know <laughs> if we don't see anything better looking than that between here and there we'll shoot it and see it's about 220 out so we'll get to about 150 and then take a shot on it and see what it scores i hope not i hope they got rid of all the level four diamond kudu i swore i think i've shot them all i mean not gonna lie, I think I've got like close to a dozen of them. <laughs> yeah, I've shot quite a few on my map as well, but they keep popping up. So, Probably oh, there goes a whole bunch of kudu. Oh, yeah, that's a whole herd. Yeah, well, then if they're already spooking from there, we'll slow down a little bit for this guy because he's already acting like look at that, he's already acting like he can hear us, and we're not even. 180 meters from him? I mean, we're further out than 180 meters. Well, let's go ahead and give him a call then. See if we can get him to stick around. Um, sorry, Dan, what's this? Every year we ever get a chance, how come on the Xbox One my gamer tag is Eagle Scout Dan? I don't know what you're talking about there, buddy. Sorry. <laughs> he's 130 out is that what that said and hey austin lewis man good to see you how you doing bud what did they find out i've been uh curious about that been thinking about you there for those of you that don't know, Austin Lewis was in a bit of pain earlier and uh, was in the hospital getting some scans and things done. So hopefully they got you uh, figured out there, but And I lost that level four. Oh, no, there it is. 
to a let it I got come a, into us. Male wildebeest coming in up here. I might take a pot shot at. Oh, nice. Well, actually, see, we should be able to drop it right there, huh? Oh, no, we messed it up. Oh, well. It's going down pretty quick. It'll make me feel better if we messed it up and it was a uh, one of the larger than it should be kudos. Austin said they didn't figure out what it was, but I'm home. Just don't have any energy. You keep falling asleep. Well, rest up, man. Uh, take it easy. Hopefully uh, you'll get to feeling better. Don't like to hear that, man. But, you know, um, what'd you do on that wildebeest there? It's an 889 gold, and I've got 100% can sex. <laughs> Very nice. <laughs> <laughs> That's a good can check there. Oh, yeah. <laughs> nice level four, huh? Yeah, I didn't even know. I just shot him. He was that close. Hey, Tango. And Tango's made it. How's it going? Okay, that was the blood splatter. Where did he run to? Yeah, I'm kind of not paying super close attention to the game. I'm going back and forth. Oh, there it is. We ran right past it. <laughs> well, let's see. And he didn't make it terribly far. We probably still have a decent quick kill. Uh, 83%. Yeah, 83% uh, quick kill, and it was a 938. So I think that may have been a... Uh, Pre-patch diamond, potentially. I don't know. Somebody do the math on that for me in the chat. I'm curious. Well, anyway, we got him down, and he's out of the way. <laughs> and Non is almost oh, here. I just got knocked out by a lesser kudu, and it looked like it might have been a high level four as well. It, it, um, yeah, got um, aggressive and attacked me. I see some females. I don't see any males. Definitely had horns. <laughs> he said it had <laughs> horns. <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> Let's see. Wow, that's a great start. <laughs> you know, I have noticed though, um, and guys, you let me know uh, in the chat if you've gotten to play multiplayer with the uh, new update. Multiplayer's been a bit more a bit more buggy for me. Um, like I said, I was playing on some other servers, and I actually shot and killed a kudu. And then when I went to harvest the trophy, it jumped up and killed me. <laughs> and that sounded like a warthog. I mean, it sounded like a kudu, yeah. but was a warthog. Level three. <laughs> running away from me. Well, I was going to try to take down the culprit that took you down there. And, oh, is that it? That can't it be like it. like they were heading towards you. That's a little level three there. That one can't be it pretty thick vegetation through here i mean it's open but all these little bushes they disappear as they go behind them there's another wildebeest a two minor yeah they it's like they're all spawning they're in between us <laughs> I, don't, I don't know i was just running towards you and then it's like they don't run away from you now they run towards you and past you <laughs> or into you <laughs> well that's uh maybe i should have brought some uh Med kits. <laughs> this might be uh, another high death stream we got going on here. <laughs> well, yeah, you never know. But Killer B says if I stop talking, it's because my pain killers got the best of me and I fell asleep. <laughs> but you'll still get my view. <laughs> I appreciate it, Killer B. And you too, Austin. Y'all hanging out when you're under the weather like that uh, means a lot, guys. That's some dedication there. And Hayward Gales here as well. Nice. And hey, Hayward. DD33, how's it going, man? He says a 954 would have been diamond on the Kudu. So, yeah, see, it was a pre patch level 4 diamond. So, I'm not going to lie, I'm kind of glad I messed it up. <laughs> <laughs> and Killaby says we've got 17 likes. Let's try and get to 25. That would be awesome. What do we got running up there? Seems like everything's spooking from a lot further away, and then you see that it spooked, ran, and then stopped. Yeah, I don't know. The wind's not blowing that direction, so it can't be that. Oh, Unless they're... they turned up the spook radius again a little. I mean, they're. I don't know. I didn't get any warning calls or anything. They were a good two hundred meters away from me when they spooked. 
Yep. Yeah. Loads of kudu around here. There is. And I'm, I swear I hear an animal. I wonder if there's a bugged animal near me. No, there's a kudu right there that didn't spook. Yet the other spooked 200 meters away. Very interesting. Well, we'll go ahead and shoot this one since we're waiting on non. And we messed it up again. I keep shooting them too far back. Going for the spine, but I, I'm avoiding that front shoulder blade and shooting them in the uh, in the guts, basically. <laughs> Gut shotting them. <laughs> and DD33, yeah, I meant to ask you, how did the surgery go? He's been, uh, he had pretty significant surgery a few days ago. What was it, four days ago? And that was a big level three, a 911. Wow. So I'm... Houses. I'm wondering, are the high-level kudu back? I don't know. That's weird. I didn't... Hmm. We'll have to do some more testing on that. But while we they wait would have for non... Re refresh of the animals, though, if they were coming back in again now. That well... That means changing... That's true. But while non's catching up, I'm just going to walk so you can catch up at a run. Let's take a yep. look at this no new UI. Not the multiplayer challenges. Let's just go to our inventory. Look how slick this looks. I just love it. This is their best improvement to the game, hands down, in my opinion. I mean, look, when you go look at the ammo, you've got the class of the ammo right there, so you know instantly what uh, class of animal you can shoot with it, which is pretty cool. Um, just the darker, it just looks way better, way more professional. I really like it. All the way around. Shows your available skill points and perk points, if you had any, which we don't. We've spent them all. <laughs> hey, right behind you. All righty. Well, let's, uh, let's get on a bit of a run, because I want to make it up there to the middle of the map, because that's where I've had the best luck. And Miss B has just rolled in. How's it going, Miss B? Good to see you. Hey, Miss B. I really want to get to that uh, area where I saw the the good Jim's Bach. Because I, it, what was weird though, and I don't, yeah, you said you hadn't got to play it yet, but I know some of you in uh, chat have. Um, when I was playing earlier, I ran into more single Jim's Bach than anything, which in the beta I always found them in big groups. So I'm curious to see if they've changed that up a little bit, or what are you guys finding? Are they still in massive groups? Because I've found a couple, you know, decent-sized herds, but a lot of the times, you know, there'd be a level 4 sitting over there by itself. Then on this side, we'd have a level 3 sitting by itself. It was kind of weird. So I'll be curious to see that. And Wolverine says it's been the same as the beta for him. Oh, okay. And Ernesto Espita Espita has just rolled in. How's it going, in er Ernesto? Glad to have you with us again. Oh, speaking of large groups, uh, that's a large group with a couple dark ones in there, too. To the uh, north, northwest there, Non. There's a four easy oh, mail. Oh, 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 yeah. There's a couple four easy. Wow. One, two, three. <laughs> There's at least three four easies over there. <laughs> I wanted to see There's if a four easy female there too. Oh, that's the Front one I want. That's the one I want. I haven't done it, but you guys um, have said that the females have a potential to be higher scoring than the males because IRL um, the females get bigger horns, and since that animal goes by the trophy rating, that would make a lot of sense. And I've shot a lot of level 4 males. Well, I say a lot. At least probably 10 or 15 of them. And they've ranged from silver to gold. Some decent gold. Um, I don't think any of them were over 900. So I want to see what this... Uh, I'm getting tongue twisted. I want to see what this female scores here. Yep. Pretty high. <laughs> yeah, and I'm... I'm walking slow. Used to be able to walk, you know, up to within 150 meters of them, but I'm concerned that they may have uh, 
up the spook radius again. And Stay says, when is Jim's... Oops, I just jumped up and started running, didn't I? Didn't mean to do that. <laughs> I meant to walk. <laughs> At least till we get inside 200. And Stay said, when is Jim's walk coming to Xbox? It, um... As far as I'm aware, it should be out already. Um, I believe they're rolling it out to different regions little by little for console. So, I mean, just uh, keep checking back. Oh, the wind's not great if we go straight at them this way. What if we go more west and then go north to them? Let's try that. Yeah, I think the wind's coming around a little bit. And, uh, hey, Wrecked. And Mr. Kiwi, how's it going? Glad to see you, man. How's the, uh, how's the new job? Are they keeping you busy? I haven't really got to talk to you about it since you started. And, yep, see Killer B there. He said it's, yep, he's heard the same. You know, it's supposed to be today at some point for everyone, which is kind of cool. PC obviously did get it a little earlier than some, but I believe we have a few members in the community uh, that, are on console and have played it already so i know it's rolling out there but uh you may have to beard was saying this in his stream um you may have to go to i guess with the console it'd be the playstation store or the xbox store and you do have to click on it it's under the dlcs it's i think it was new species or something like that is what they called it um it's free doesn't cost you any money but you do have to uh click on it to download it I believe 118 so let's see go ahead and get down really low so they don't spook we'll crawl up to this next bush here should be within you know somewhere around 75 80 meters then we'll see if we can get a shot on that female and then by that time non should be snuck up a little bit and be able to get a shot on one of the other ones and we can uh, do a little countdown non yeah no worries I'll just go for about 150 Range shot. Um, Sounds good. Almost almost in position. I'll let you know. Yeah, I'm moving up more or less just to get a better angle. Not uh, necessarily for the distance. That wind is coming around as well. I see it. That's why I'm Try trying it. to <laughs> get there in time. And Tim Kent, that would be awesome if you do that. He said he's going to check Xbox now. Uh, let us know. Yeah, keep us updated with that stuff. I'm pretty much ready whenever you are, man. All right. Let me get uh, into this cover here. Then I'll pop up. Hopefully this gives me cover. Yes, it does. Should be her there. Hmm. Not a fan of this angle. We may try to go for the neck. We'll shoot her with the 7mm. Oh, I don't like it. Oh, maybe we can get her right there in the shoulder. All right. Uh, three. Two, one. What happened there? Did y'all see that? She did like a weird... Wow, that was interesting. See, I think that's a little... Did you get it? I don't. I hit it the first time, but it kind of did a weird kick jump, and then it was running, then it slid down on its back legs, and it was going weird. Really weird. Yeah, mine kind of did a weird little slide thing. That was kind of... I don't know. I thought I messed the shot up, but it didn't go far enough to be a bad shot. It just, like, slid down the hill. And see, that's what I've noticed with these females. See how they're long and straight and skinny? And they they keep close together? That varies very differently from the males in the game. The males tend to go at more like a V pattern. They spread out a little more. But let's see. This will be my first uh, level four female I've ever gotten. I didn't even get one on the beta. So let's see what she scores. She's a gold, a 901. Nice. Wow. So yeah, the Congrats. females are uh, very nice. Okay, so rumor has it you can get a gold diamond. Uh, I mean, a gold diamond. <laughs> a diamond gems <laughs> box from a female. I saw that gems box out there running around at... Uh, confused me <laughs> there's one to the north there that didn't even uh, leave the area <laughs> till just now <laughs> i got a vital on my one so uh 
see which way it went. All right, yeah, let's go track this thing down. And then uh -oh. they seem to be, I was fixing to say, um, they seem to be very similar to non to the wildebeest. They like to return to their need zones, so I wouldn't be surprised if we run into them going tracking yours. Yeah, yep. But yeah, if you hear pigs, the, be careful. <laughs> yeah, they're in here. <laughs> All right, well, I'll pull out the 470 for the pigs. Okay. And Lettuce the Swifty 13 just subscribed. Thanks for the subscription, Lettuce. Welcome to the channel. Glad to have you with us. And hey, Goliath. Oh, we got Springbok too. And Goliath just rolled in as well. How's it going, Goliath? Good to see you. I just picked up a Springbok track. What the heck? I'm not still on your blood. It's right here. 25 to 50, so it shouldn't be too much further. We got a watering hole over here with some. That looks like a Jim's Bok over there. Yep, level three. That's a feed zone right there to the north if you want to grab it. I can get a spot on it. Yeah, I had to do the little zoom in, zoom out trick while you're spotting to get it. Yep, got it. For those of you that didn't know what I was talking about, you can literally, if you're having trouble spotting an animal like that one there, you can literally zoom out while you press the uh, spot button. And a lot of the times, it'll let you get a spot on them. It's pretty handy. Let's see. Where's... Okay, here's the blood again. 25 oh, to yeah. 50. He's going down. Taking his time. Yeah, he uh -oh. is. Oh. And I angry. just spooked... Uh... Very angry. Oh, no, I didn't. <laughs> Might want to go slow. The uh, herd's up here. <laughs> oh, okay. Just so you know, there's a war pig off to the left somewhere. All right, I'll keep my eyes open, or ears, because I'll hear it before I see it. <laughs> well, yeah. <laughs> okay, and Tim Ken says, no Jim's Bok DLC on the Xbox Store yet. All right, well, keep us updated, let us know. And Nate Drake, welcome to the stream. That's a new name, I don't think I've seen that before. Yep, your uh, Jim's Bok's just up here. Welcome to the stream, right, cool. glad to have you here. And are they spooking? I believe they are. See, wow, they're spooking. Oh, well, the wind. Durr. Yeah. I going to say the wind's gone that way. Yeah, but see, the spring box not spooking. It's still walking straight toward us. Toward us. There it goes. There it goes. <laughs> Maybe the uh, spring box are just... Not the spring box. The uh, gems box are a little smarter than the uh, other ones. But there's a Very decent well group of them. They're taking off running up there. Let's get you to... Uh, Grab this thing. Grab this well, you guy. you can get up if you want. Yeah. You can yeah I'll yeah. do that. Look. I mean, I messed it up. So. <laughs> well, you got a long shot. You just... It... Okay. No, that can't be right. He, he must have shot it from the other way. It shows us you went through the body, missed one lung, and hit the lung on the backside. <laughs> but yeah. So, the... so um, special sort of, uh, yeah, teleporting bullets I use. Right. <laughs> <laughs> he curved it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> But uh, that's something, if you've seen that one without the uh, horns on it, of course, because I picked it up. That's yeah. something I saw earlier today playing in a random multiplayer. They were just outside or just inside the render distance. And uh, they were all popping up and none of them had any horns. They look kind of funny without them. <laughs> <laughs> and Goliath asks how we are. I'm very well, thanks, mate. They're just right here on the other side. Um, no, yeah. the Jim's Bok is free. You don't have to buy it, Stace. It's a free patch, but it showed up in the Steam store as a DLC, and it was free. You just had to click on it. So there's uh, no payment for this edition. It's just a new animal, and it comes with a few, uh, I believe, a few bug fixes and things like that. I actually haven't got a chance to read through or even locate the patch notes yet. So that's something I'll have to do, and I can let you guys know what I find. But that's one thing I do like about what EW said, you know, with this game and the way they're going to approach the future is, you know, the animal species are going to be free. They're not going to charge us for the new animals. It'll just cost us for, like, a weapon pack or 
There they are right here, Non. Yep. They're moving across towards the wind as well, aren't they? A little yep, bit. they are. So I actually want to shoot one with the 4570 and show you how, or I mean the 470 and show you how tough these things are. Because you can yeah, get one. using the 470. <laughs> oh, it's spooked. Yeah, but I mean, I've used the 470 on them. Got a double lung and liver shot. So multiple vitals and still only got 86% quick kill. <laughs> Okay. You would think, you know, the 470 would just knock them right over, but it doesn't. Oh, got a warning call just next to me here somewhere. Oh, we got a jackal down there too. Yeah, these little guys, they're they're trying to go back to that need zone, and because we've moved, we're in the wind now. Well, yeah. and the wind has shifted. Oh, here we go. Here's one right here. It's not spooking. They're just doing little, like, run, stop, run, stop. What's the distance on that one? So we'll zero for 50. We'll take this dark one. We'll just hold a little high. Oh, we sat that one right down. Must have hit it in the spine. Nice. <laughs> <laughs> but, like I said, you don't get any integrity with the 470, which is kind of... I mean, it shouldn't be that way, but you do get integrity with the 338, which I'll show in just a little bit. Um, but the 470 and the 338 are classed as the same weapon class, so that's kind of weird for me. And Zoe Z, hey, good to see you. Saw you earlier in Beard stream. I didn't think you would make it. Oh, yeah, we got the spine and long on that one. So, yeah, we hammered it, but, yep, no, uh, no integrity. But as you can see, that's a different fur variation the darks. I don't think they're rare at all because I've seen a lot of them. Got a feed zone here. That's good to pick up. DD asked a pretty good question there, mate. Uh, DD says, spine is shot. the spine shot going to be less effective soon? I've been hearing about that. Yeah, in one of uh, EW's latest streams uh, that I caught, they had Zeke in there, and he was they're working on it. They're actually working on revamping the whole harvest system, um, where consex and all that don't apply towards the score of the animal, but they do apply towards the amount of XP you get, and cash, I believe. So, and they're also going to make the spine shot kind of go away in a sense that they're going to in introduce a spinal cord, which is going to be really small and run through the spine. And if you don't hit that spinal cord, uh, you're not going to drop the animal. So, I hope that's not the only adjustments they make. I hope they make um, double lung more of a, uh, a thing. I would love for them to make double lung uh, shots, you know, 100% quick kill on all the species like they are on some of the species here in Africa. Uh, I think that's the way it should be, uh, personally. Um, but if they don't, then it's going to be pretty much heart shots. So that'll be interesting to see how that goes. Oh, there's a pig running away there, Non. Mm, did not... Oh, they're up the hill. Yep. Let's see if he even responds to this. I haven't had much luck with the boar collar and the uh, warthogs. See, he just kept on trucking, didn't he? Oh, no. He stopped. He's turned. Oh. He's looking. He's eyeballing you. He's thinking about it. He's giving a warning call because he sees me, obviously. Yeah, but we're 150 away. He's got really good eyesight. Yeah, he does. <laughs> Oh, and there goes the spring block. <laughs> well, do you want to pop that pig right there? I can do. Give us a countdown, because I'll try to drop that spring block there. Yep, brain shots also kill a bee, that's right. Um, I lost him. Oh, there he is. I got him. Okay. Three, two... One. Oh, she stopped moving when you shot. <laughs> and he moved when I shot, and I totally missed him. <laughs> there we go. She's down. <laughs> Literally, as soon as yeah, I yeah. waited till I heard the boom and then figured she'd still be walking. <laughs> but she wasn't. She stopped, and I shot right in front of her. 
And hey, Tyler Knight, good to see you. He says, haven't really been around since ducks. Any other new animals, guns, etc.? Um, yeah. Uh, let's see what came after the ducks. We've got the Gimsbok today, of course. I don't think any new guns have come out. Um, yeah, I guess since then, really, Gimsbok is the only thing that's new. But I'm, well, and the new uh, user interface, which is really cool. They did a good job on that. I like that. Yeah, it's, uh, that's a, my favorite new thing as well. Makes it a lot easier to use. And we only hit it once. Nice. I thought we actually hit it twice, but we only hit it once, and we got a double lung. See? There you go. This is one of the animals where the double lung is a thing, and I like it. And Stace is asking, which is better, the 470 or the 338? Um, me, personally, I believe that the 338 is way better than the 470. I mean, hands down. Yep. You've got more Unless range. They... You've got, you know... Oh, wow. Look at all that back there behind us, Non. To the... Just a little bit west. Let's just check all these piggies. Make sure none of them are big. That one... Ooh. Oh, there's a level four. No level fives, no? Level four is not bad looking, though. They're a good distance out. Yeah, to about 180 I can't... closing five. I can't get an accurate reading. Oh, well, you're a little closer to me. Let's see. So we'll zero for 150 and see if we can't drop that four because they're going into the wind. There he is right there. Let's wait for him to get a little bit. What's he at from you now, Noel? Uh, about 165. 55. Uh... Oh. Uh, I right. don't know. I, I think I shot behind him. It looked like you. You got him that time. Did I hit him that time? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Definitely. But he's still 75, 100. But, um, I thought you hit the first one. But it's like the bullet went through like it does on the boxes and stuff sometimes. Mm -hmm. That's possible. I'm not sure. And hey, Fisherman Roo. Glad to see you. Glad you rolled in. Hey, Roo. Um, I actually hit this pig, so I'm just going to double check it didn't go down. Right, I, actually... I don't know if mine moment. went down. There's hunting pressure all over this place, so. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, no, I definitely missed him the first time. Oh, okay. I wouldn't have took that second shot if I would have thought that I missed, though. I thought I hit him that first time, and I just thought it was a bad shot. Just run in here. Ah. Just a flesh wound. Now, see, that's an animal I haven't hunted a lot, so I'm not sure. I know, like, the springbok, you can drop them with a flesh wound. But, uh, I don't know. Yeah, don't... pigs you can. That one I shot was a flesh wound, and it went down. Ah. Well, we got to run a ways back here to go get it then. <laughs> But Wrecked Kiwi says, I personally believe the 4570 is the best gun in game at the moment with the amount of animals it is ethical on and the punch it now has. I agree 100%. The 4570 yep. is the best gun in the game to me as well. I actually don't have it with me. Uh, my loadout's kind of messed up at the moment because I was testing some things out with the Gimsbok and trying different weapons on them. There's a bunch of Springbok over there. But, um, so yeah, I've got the 470 with me, which I never carry with me anymore. And I've got the 7mm. Be interested to see how that 470 now handles, um, the Buffalo, just in case they maybe put a tweak in to fix it. But they may have. Oh. Yeah, it's going down. I don't know if it's dead yet, but I see the group of pigs. Yep, yeah, DD agrees. <laughs> the 4570 is a great gun. Oh, yeah. Yeah, there we go, 0 to 25. Won't have any quick kill on this guy at all. He ran a marathon after we shot him. <laughs> but uh, he did go down, I believe. And there's all the other ones. 
all the other piggies. Let's bring out the 470 just in case they try to come charging at us. Wait a minute, did he quit bleeding or did I click off his track? No, oh, it's up there. Um, okay, I was going to say I'm following it behind you, so I'll be able to pick it up if you lost. Oh, I did highlight another animal, didn't I? Oops, I believe I did, and he actually may have stopped bleeding. If not, we'll see when you catch up. Yeah, I'm a little ways behind you. Yeah, because we were over here, I believe, when we shot him. He may not have died, and if he didn't, we're going to fast travel out of here. Yeah, the 357 is pretty... Oh. oh, that rock. I thought it was a body for a second. <laughs> <laughs> See, now that's one thing I have noticed. Look at the sight on the um, the 470. It's not uh, in line with what it, my zero is in the bottom right-hand corner. At all. <laughs> like right there it is, but you press it again, it goes to 100. I'm at 100, but it says 50. Then I go to 50, and it says 100. He's uh, stop bleeding. Yep. Okay, good. We're not going to waste any time on him, then. We're actually going to fast travel to... Let's see. Where should we go? Let's go right here. Oh, no. Let's go here. Doesn't save us that much of a run, but it saves us a little bit. And actually, while we're here, I'm going to get rid of the 470. <laughs> because I don't need it. But yeah, look at this. Another look at the new user interface for those of you that have just joined and didn't get a chance to see it. Look at this. And I like how it shows you what's DLC. Like if you go to your... Let's go to our loadout here. It shows the 470 is DLC. It shows the uh, 22 is DLC. Oh, I mean, that's that's pretty cool to me. <laughs> Let's grab the 4570. Make sure we got some ammo. See all the DLC, the bows. And see, now this all loads properly for me. I don't know about any of y'all, but with the old uh, UI, I had issues with it loading. Yeah, it, uh, same. Half the time, the pictures wouldn't be there at all. And I haven't had that issue once with this one. So I'm really liking it. Let's grab... Do we got enough room to throw the scope in there? Let's see. Scroll past the ammo. Where is it? There it is. The Helios. We do. All right. Let's just throw this in our lineup real quick. Because I haven't... Since the beta, that's the only thing I haven't done, is I hadn't tried the 4570 out on them since the beta. That's all I used in the beta, but I haven't tried it since the full release. So we'll have to do that. Okay, and Killer B says it always said what was DLC. It was just white letters, not the big orange tag. Well, see, I didn't even notice it before. So I need a big orange tag. Kind of like when y'all tag me in <laughs> chat. That way I can see it. And Cody says the zero wouldn't change between 50 and 100. So the gun sight could reflect a different number, but same zero. Okay. But yeah, keep your eyes peeled here, Non. This is the area I saw them just everywhere. Okay. They'll be in the, you know, right on the edges of the copses of the trees or out in the middle of the plains. Yeah, I like that too, Zoe. Zoe says, I like how it now tells you what is compatible with which gun too. Yeah, they really yep. did a good job on the new user interface. It is, it's gorgeous. I love it. Huge improvement over what they used to have. Oh, for sure. At least then if you click on it and it tells you what ammo you need, you can just click on the ammo to get it instead of uh, having to scroll through 50 different types looking for the right one. Right, exactly. Oh, sorry about that. I had to get a drink of my sweet tea. Getting a little parched. And hey, James Doyle, how's it going? Good to have you with us. So we're going to have to get 
moving here. I'm seeing tracks, but I don't even know what they are. I didn't even check them. Ah, it was Wildebeest. Very fresh. So a Wildebeest has been through here. Just one. Yep. Or a female now? Yep. Yep. <laughs> she went that way, though. So we'll leave her alone. Looks to be a need zone up here, though, we can pick up. Oh, for kudu. Great. Just what I need. More kudu on the map. <laughs> oh, and there was a... What? Right here? What? I've never had a buffalo resting zone... Or any buffalo right here. That's a buffalo resting oh. zone right there. I don't see any other tracks, though. I don't either. Like, at all. That's weird. That might be a bug. Diamond? Diamond, <laughs> maybe? That would be really weird. Not only have I never had, uh, you know, buffalo in this area, but to have a big one? That would be kind of cool. <laughs> All right, well, let's run a little bit. I can. I don't have any luck in these super bushed areas. <laughs> the animals oh, are in there. <laughs> yeah, springbok and piggies in this area here. All right. Get into an opening here. See, now this is normally in the beta for sure. When I popped out through here, there was just Jim's Bok everywhere. Not seeing any right now. A little disappointed. Nah. I think they heard we were coming. And they took a holiday. Yeah, Zoe says, is it just me or is there nothing but gems in Africa now? Um, Maybe just you, because it's not that way for me. <laughs> <laughs> we're seeing everything but the gems block right now. Well, not at the moment, but we have so far in the stream. We've seen a couple of them, but... They went the wrong way we wanted to, from where we wanted to go. So let's just be interested to see if there's any up around that little lake up where they were in the beta, just a bit further north of us, the next outpost up. Yep. I I had absolute ton around that little lake. And uh, we got some right there in the uh, far distance north, about three hundred meters out. Ah, oh, yep, four easy. Yep. That one on its own, though? I don't see... I don't see... know if it's on its own or maybe just standing away from the group. Uh, I can't really see below it, so there may be more laying down or around the area, but it doesn't look like it. Yep, there's more. There's at least one more. Oh, multiple more. One right near us there, about 100 out. Yep. I don't see it. You can see it? No, no, I just heard it. Oh, okay. Yeah, I heard it, but I didn't see it. So I'm going to slow walk, see if we can get eyes on it. See if we can give him a dose of the 4570 here. One thing I do like about the 4570 is the quick follow-up shot. So even if you do mess up the initial shot, you can give it a quick follow-up shot, and you still got a potential for uh, getting a 100% quick kill. And uh, DD is asking, are there five mediums for Jim's Walk? Uh, I personally haven't seen one, DD, but yes, there is. I've uh, seen screenshots from other people. So they do go Not up to miles, level five. Though, I believe so. I don't think I've seen a level five female picture. Nah, just the fours. Is that over there? It's right. I'd say that was about 50 meters away from you, man, that, that call. I know. You think I'd be able to see it, but I cannot see it. There's a little dip in front of me, so I'm going to go prone, be sneaky for a minute. Just okay, in case I'm it is it. right here. Because I hear hoof prints. Wolverine says the females go to 5 too. He got one in the beta. Nice. Yeah, that's really, I mean, I'd love a, any kind of diamond. Uh, Gimsbach, but I'd really like it to be a female if that's still a thing because that would be awesome. <laughs> it's unique to them only in this game. Pretty much right up on where those parentheses were. Tate is probably moving across. Oh no, the it's a gigantic west. group of pigs. Oh, this could be bad. Uh oh. 
I'll stay well back then. Well, I don't know if I should I shoot should or if I should just... <laughs> Run. <laughs> that one charged me. That one's got to die. There I don't were. know if I hit that one on the run or not. Well, see, there's there goes the Gimswalk we were going for, but this jerk here had to uh, charge me, so I uh, couldn't let him get away with that. Give him another one, just <laughs> just, just so they get the message. <laughs> and of course, we're not going to have integrity because we just shot it again while it was on the ground. But now this is something. Oh, no. I want to see, they'll come back into us, of course, the pigs will, I'm sure, but without giving any calls, these Gims box should turn around and come right back to their need zone. See, look at that, he's already you, starting to turn. Did you shoot another one, or is this the one I shot? That should be the one you shot, I didn't shoot, okay. sh I don't believe so, unless that first shot I missed went over the head I of the... <laughs> Yep, was, was me. There's another four easy. That's one thing I have noticed. There's a lot of level fours on the maps, it seems. They seem to be pretty common. Oh, so we got more chance of getting a level five to come back. We don't have one straight up. Level three there. Where's he going? Four easy line down just to the right of north at the top of that hill there. Yeah, I got a need zone from him. Did you? I think I got it before. I didn't get one off him that time. Oh. Yeah, I was just watching this one to the right here, seeing if it was going to meet up with a herd or not. Doesn't look like it. Getting calls from everything. Another. There's more to the west of us. I'm going to stand up and see if I can see them, but they're going to be down that other side of this little hill here, so probably not worth it. Pigs everywhere. This is a really good watering hole here for anyone uh, watching in the stream. It's right here in the middle of the map. I mean, look at all the animal need zones all around it. But a lot of animals come to this area. I mean, we've got pigs, kudu, Jim's walk. Apparently, uh, see, look, that, okay, he's eating. I was fixing to say he just stood up like he saw me. <laughs> We're way too far out for him to see us, but now he's got his back to us, which is even better. Yep. But I just, I'm, I'm kind of curious. I kind of want to walk until he turns around and acts like he notices us. See what that distance is. Yeah, I haven't seen a level 9 legendary Cape Buffalo DD. It's a shame. <laughs> uh, yeah, Non's, pretty got, awesome. Non's got several <laughs> of them. <laughs> I haven't either, DD. I'm, I'm with you. I, I've never seen a level 9 either. Well, except in watching Non's videos. <laughs> I think I've got... I think I've got three on my map, but uh, I think they came back as level eight, so I've got to do some uh, culling to try and get them back again. But uh, pretty sure there's three different ones. All right. Well, I'm going to crawl into this little bush here, start calling them, see if we can break them out of that need zone there. There we go. He broke. There's a gem bot male behind us here. See, but he only ran a little bit forward and then stopped. Let's see. See, and that's what I've had them do. I haven't had any of them <laughs> just come right to me. They just, they'll react to it, come a little bit in, then stop. Come a little bit further in, then stop. They're really slow on wanting to come in. Uh, yeah, we've got one really close to us. Or something. There's, uh, they're on your left there, man. I can't. There's, uh, Kudu. Oh. Get out of here, Kudu. 
What's the distance? One right in front guy? of you. <laughs> okay, he's about 90 out, so we'll zero for 100. Oh, he's coming closer. Stop. As soon as he stops, we'll see if we can get a spine shot on him. If he'll stop. Maybe he's not going to stop. What's the distance at now? He's probably closer than 100, huh? Um, I'm uh, about 40 away from you, so... He's coming around. Look at that animal, though. What a beautiful model. <laughs> they did a great job on that, I will say that. I mean, look at that thing. It's beautiful. Those kudu are being really loud. They're literally on on you. Uh, yeah, I, I can see that one's head. Oh, there he goes. All right, stop right there, buddy. Nope. Don't go back. Come back this way. Give him another call or two. And there oh. you go. Now switch back to the gun. Come on, hurry up, dude. Oh. Uh. <laughs> it's all right. This might come down for a drink. He might stop. Yeah, he does look a little thirsty, doesn't he? Speaking of thirsty. Yep. I might get a drink myself. Stop. Okay, you can do that. That's close enough to stop him. <laughs> <laughs> well, he sat down. <laughs> <laughs> you can do the moonwalk. I'll shoot you while you moonwalk. That's cool. <laughs> At least he stopped and didn't teleport through the lake. That, that would have been interesting. Right. <laughs> well, let's see how we did on him here. He doesn't look that big for a four, but he is a gold, an 825. Nice. So not too shabby. I'll take it. Let's uh let's see where are we at here. We've got I've got some more need zones directly north from here we can go check out. I guess. Yeah, that is pretty cool, Miss B, how you can just look at the horns and see the gender whether they're spread apart or close together. I guess the uh, the females are more ladylike. They don't like to spread their horns. <laughs> oh, wow. There's another level four behind us back over there. See, they're all spawning uh, in where I said they would be over there earlier, where they weren't. <laughs> we'll let him go, though. Level fours are pretty common. Now, if it was a level four female, I might be tempted to go back and uh, get it. Yep. And Jake Boggs just rolled in. How's it going, Jake? And DD hey, says he's got about 29 eight mythicals. <laughs> 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 and Cody, he says, this is a family channel. <laughs> I, di I didn't say anything inappropriate. <laughs> True, true. You know, when ladies sit down, they sit with their legs together versus men. We sit, you know, tend to sit a little more comfortably with our legs spread a little more apart. They, they just happen to do that with their horns. What is that? Another kudu. Female kudu. See, and that's what I was talking about earlier when I was saying I have more multiplayer issues. I see more of the moonwalks and things of that nature than I did before the update. Yeah, that could be lag or that could be like sinking yep. difference between us because I mean Oh yeah, I've only had it the... I've only had it happen on multiplayer. So it, it very well could yep. be. Yeah, well, I've got a three hundred and three ping to you at the moment. So oh, wow. but at least we haven't had any disconnects again. Since right. Just the one crap. So that's pretty good. Right. And John Pat says, Is Jim Buck on console? It should be out any minute if it's not out already. So just make sure to go and check your, whether it's the PlayStation Store or the Xbox Live Store, just make sure you go and check it. It will be free, but you need to go uh, in there and click on it to download it. Even if, even for PC, that's how it was. We had to go to the Steam and click on it. Or I did. I didn't have to. You didn't have to. Was, that went in and automatically updated. Huh. Interesting. No, I, I did. Maybe I didn't have to. I took an extra step for no reason. <laughs> <laughs> oh, what do we got up there? The kudu, man. 
Maybe I, I guess they know we're not going after them today, so they're just they're everywhere. Yep, they're feeling a little bit more game. I swear, when you go looking for them, you don't find them, and then when you're not looking for them, they're just everywhere. And that's one thing I'd like EW to add. Even if we can't shoot it, throw the baboons up in the trees. You you put the sound effects of them barking at us, like throw them up there. <laughs> Put them in the tree, make it an invalid target if, you know, if you're worried about PETA or something. But it'd be cool to just see, you know, a group of monkeys hanging up in a tree somewhere. It'd make it feel more like Africa. <laughs> <laughs> but those things, man, those baboons in real life, they're vicious. They're, uh, they're not very friendly. And see, I'm telling you, I know exactly what's happening here. These are all, these are the spots I went to earlier. As soon as we pass this spot and turn around, there'll be a herd of Jim's box sitting right here. <laughs> as soon as the wind is not in our favor. Yeah. But, if you're not opposed to it, why don't we go for a little bit of a run for a bit and see if we can uh, find anything Sounds like a plan. more interesting than Kudu. I believe, yeah, this way. And Zoe said, I just had to update my game, and then I had gems walk everywhere like rats at a rubbish dump. <laughs> <laughs> oh, slow down. Don't spook. We got one right in front of us. I can't spot it, though. Sorry if that messes with y'all in the chat. That's the little trick to get them to uh, highlight when you can't spot them. But... I understand it may be kind of dizzying to watch. <laughs> See, he's giving us the warning there. They're going to turn and run. Oh, well, it's another four easy. Should be 100 meters out. That's a surprise. Yeah, right? It's all four <laughs> easies everywhere. Nice. And it's sitting down. I wasn't sure if that shot was going to work because I was actually shooting through the, a branch that was real close to me if you watch back. <laughs> I may have been just above it, but I was worried I was going to hit the tree right in front of me. <laughs> Some pretty good shot shooting. <laughs> Had to thread the needle there. There's some springbok uh, resting zone there. Mm, See, cool. what did I say? Look behind us. What is that? Oh, no, that's a kudu. Okay, a four easy kudu. And Stace says, what do you get when you cross a shovel and a car together? Uh, snow plow? Yeah, that's a good guess. And we got another gold in 809. Yeah, I'm not sure. It'd be not. a snow plow or a... I don't know. <laughs> what is it, Stace? Let us know. Was there only that one there? think so all these other tracks i'm seeing were kudus yep see and i never had that in the beta i never had one by itself <laughs> john says a larder <laughs> <laughs> and cody says the suspense is killing me <laughs> let's see not seeing anything in the distance at the moment but I'm sure as soon as we go to start running again, we'll see something else. <laughs> Pumonic is about it. Yeah, I see her over there. Still kind of curious about that massive kudu we saw earlier, the tracks for that hundred and something kilogram female kudu. That's just crazy. Yeah, you might have to go back and try and find that one. See what it ends up being. A Chevelle? Hey, now, don't be taking low blows at Chevelles. <laughs> I'm a big Chevelle fan. I like the old teardrop Chevelles. That was when I was a kid. That was my dream car for a while. I wanted an all gray with black racing stripes. You know, the two stripes coming over the hood. Chrome hood pins. I've always liked the Chevelles. I like the body style on them. 
You know, that's that's one thing I've wondered, Non. You know, we we look back and we're like, okay, this is a classic. This is a classic. You know, cars that we look at. Mm. I don't. I just don't think like a, a Honda Accord is ever going to be a classic. You know what I mean? Like, <laughs> is there? Yeah, it, probably not. <laughs> oh yeah, the seventy Chevelle SS, gorgeous. Yeah, I think it has the 454 in it, didn't it? The 70, or could you get the 396 in the 70 model? I thought the 70 only had the 454. Or was that 69? One of those years, I think it only came with one option. If I'm not mistaken there, Wolverine. You probably know better than I do, though. Tyler's asking in the backpack, does it allow you to shrink down like the weapon list or ammo list, etc.? I haven't really tried. Um, what do you mean, shrink down? So like, like, if there's like a little um, arrow to click. But you don't really need to, though, because everything's I don't, separate. Yeah, I don't have an arrow to shrink down, but I don't really uh, see a need to. Yeah, not in not in the backpack. No. If you mean in the, maybe. the store, maybe. Yeah, but, in the store uh, it would be nice. I don't know if it's there. Um, but in your backpack, I don't think you'd need it. No, kill a bee. Just no. <laughs> they will not be. <laughs> ah, we went. I went cut the wrong way. Now we're coming completely upwind of this watering hole that I didn't want to be upwind of. <laughs> but I'm not really seeing much. So I'm down to go on a run. Okay. Stay said her husband had a Mustang that was a T-top. Don't remember what year it is. Um, yeah, I couldn't tell you offhand what years uh, the Mustangs had T-tops and what years they didn't. Not seeing anything up there, and we've got an outpost there. How far north? Of oh, wow. I'm not even paying attention. We went straight east. <laughs> That's what I get for not watching the compass. <laughs> I don't know. You get lost in the savannah. It's a beautiful map. I have no problem wandering and just looking at everything. Oh, yeah, for sure. But let's get headed more to the northern direction like I wanted to originally. And wow, you guys are awesome. We've got 29 watching and 28 likes. 29 likes. 29 likes. Wow. Well, yep. correction. You guys are amazing. That is <laughs> awesome. Zoe Z says, bad joke, take two. What do you call a man with a car on his head? Um, a motor head? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> And Wolverine says, just to the northwest of the, don't know how to say that, outpost, I have 15 to 20 Gimsbach drinking at 7.45 a.m. Now, this is something I was curious if you other people have uh, experienced since the update. Look at the, look at what the houses say. See, it says, undiscovered point of interest. Undiscovered point of interest. I've been to that one, so it gives me the name. But if I haven't visited it since the update, it uh, it doesn't have a name. It says it's undiscovered, even though I can still fast travel there. So I'm curious if y'all had that. Uh, you had that same issue, didn't you, Non? Yeah, yep, yep. I, all of them say the same thing, undiscovered. So. Oh wow, Jake, that's nice. He says his neighbor's got a. 1970 Chevelle SS 454 in mint condition with the original 8-track player, all matching numbers. That's a gem there, Jake. You ought to try to... Uh, I'd try to buy that off my neighbor if my neighbor lived next door. <laughs> I, was about, I, I was about to say, it won't, be there, it won't be there for long, Jake, if you tell Sean where you live. <laughs> yep. Uh, I would... Oh, man, that'd be gorgeous. I'd love to have that car. But then I wouldn't spend as much time in Discord and all that because I'd be out riding in my car. <laughs> Might get to meet more of you, though. I'd travel a lot more. I'd 
I'd be looking for excuses to get out on the road. Well, this seems to be kind of a dead area here. So let's go, because I wanted to hit that water just to the uh, northwest of this outpost. So let's fast travel to this one, Central Savannah. Yep. This is one where I had quite a lot of uh, gems block around the, that little lake. So Yeah, this one over here. The beta. Yep. Yep. Now I'm hoping the, I had pretty good luck there earlier today, but wanted to stay away from there while we were uh, clearing some hunting pressure from the area. And Jake Boggs said he had a guy offer him 70000 and he said no, he wanted to pass it down to his grandson. Well, that's pretty cool, but I bet his grandson will take 35000 for it. <laughs> so you, I <laughs> you just got to wait. Jim. North, 330-odd meters behind those trees. I saw the highlighted it. Highlight. Uh, need zone. I saw the highlight pop up. Oh, yeah. Okay, it's only a two minor though, but I don't see any other ones. Looks like that might be the only one there. Oh no, you got one over there too. That's a two minor as well. I don't know if that's the same one. Ah, it's a different one. Is it? Well, that means there's more than that there. There's not going to be just two. Or at least I wouldn't think. Oh no, there's more. I see a few glimpses behind and the trees. Cody, that would be awesome. I'm always down to go to the range and. Throw some lead down the range. I actually, I haven't been in uh, probably over six months now. So it's been a while since I've been to the uh, been to the gun range. I need to make a trip. It's actually, uh, I don't know if it's a big thing. Excuse me. Down in Australia, but uh, I've never found a better stress reliever than going to the gun range and just unloading a few weapons. It's a blast. Um, yeah, I don't know. I mean, there are gun ranges over here, but I personally don't. I've only been once, I think, and that was with a friend who had some rifles. But I think you have to own or have licenses or something. I don't know. Quite possibly. Never really been just for a social shoot or whatever. Yeah, Austin, I have a few buddies that have some places, but it's a lot further. I literally have a outdoor gun range five minutes from my house if that it's literally i think six miles away so you know it's pretty handy all my buddies with property are a couple hours away so we only go out there when we're going to make a trip of it and this guy that owns the gun range uh just down the road uh he's a pretty cool old boy he lets you bring tannerite and you know you can you can have a lot of fun. It's not one of those uptight gun ranges that tell you, you know, three seconds between each shot or any of that. You know, he, he lets you have some fun out there. Actually, when we had, when my wife threw the baby shower for my son, uh, I took all the husbands out. We emptied the safe and my buddy emptied his safe and we took all the husbands out and we went to the gun range and pff, I think we went through three or 4,000 rounds that day. <laughs> <laughs> We had a blast. <laughs> hey, Beard. And see Mr. Ya. Beard, good to see you. They shouldn't be close. We should be getting close they to them, huh? should be, yeah, pretty much just over here behind these trees, I would have thought. I haven't got a warning from them yet. I hope I'm not moving in too fast and spooked them. Shouldn't have, though. Oh, no, there they are. It's, is it really only those two? I saw three. Nope. There was a three yep. easy as well. I see a different but, uh, body. Any females. Oh, yeah. And that one, does she see us? No, I don't think so. Oh, there's multiples. There's one there, too. One there. I think that's the three behind her. So get some cover there, and I'll start calling them in. We'll take out two of them. I got a tree that doesn't give me cover. Awesome. I'll try this little tree here. That that uh female looks like the best one out of the group too. That little three. <laughs> I 
<laughs> I just hear the bushes and I look over and you're <laughs> you're running into a bush. <laughs> I'm trying to, I'm trying to get some cover, but none of, none of these trees want to give me any cover at all. Oh, there we go. Now There's one coming in pretty quick down there. Yeah, I see that one. The one I want isn't. The one I want's right there. I can't spot her. I'm not sure the distance. Two minor 70. right there. Oh, okay. yeah. All right. Well, I'm going to take that three there that's just stopped. You got one you want to take? Uh, it's kind of down behind a hill, I think. We can take one of these other two running in if you want. Yep, I'm ready. All right. I'm going to try to go for a heart shot. Three, two, one. I didn't hit her in the heart, but she's going down. Which one was it? Yeah, I tried to get a heart shot as well, but um, yeah. must have only clipped a lung or something, maybe. That's probably what I did as well. Because there's a vital hit. I think that was yours, wasn't it? Yep. Or was yours been. further up? Yeah. And hey, Michael Bateman's made it as well. Good to see you, Michael. Hey, Welcome Michael. Welcome to the stream. Well, we shot this one twice. She still didn't make it that far. Let's see what we did. Still got 82% on the quick kill and still got a gold out of her. An 802. So not bad. Yeah, the first shot only caught a single lung. Oh. Needed to be to the right and down a little bit to catch the heart, it looks like. The heart's pretty low on them. Wow. Okay. Good to know. You know if they're standing that way, just I in front of their on. shoulder there. No, flesh wound only, huh? And Nez Evans just rolled in as well. How's it going, Nez? And Fake Child 69 as well. Yeah, I love the look of the horns too, man. And Stace Hellfrick says... an. Almish farmer built a wooden tractor. It had a wooden transmission, a wooden engine, and wooden tires, but there was one problem. It wouldn't run. Well, because it was all made out of wood. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think you can get compression in an engine built with wooden cylinders. No. Well, I heard a shot there. Were you able to drop it that time? Nah, she spooked just as I pulled the trigger. Oh. Oh, well, here's that watering hole I was talking about earlier. And a 25, though, so you may well now drop. Oh, there's a jackal over there to the northeast. Can't get a spot on it. It's in those bushes. Let's see if we can get it to poke its head out. I wouldn't mind shooting a jackal. <laughs> oh, okay. Wooden equals wouldn't. I think Stace meant to put it wouldn't run, but autocorrect and everything. I get it. I get it now. That one went right over my head. That was it. That was uh, <laughs> even I, if I say so myself, it was a uh, pretty pretty lame. <laughs> Definitely falls into the dad joke category. Oh, I don't know if that jackal's going to pop its head out or not because I saw it make a quick movement and I don't know if it was spooking or just doing that you know weird little whatever thing they do I don't think this one's going down but he hasn't stopped bleeding yet so. oh, I got some gym spot down here by the water apparently I'm getting a warning call from him it's a dark one level 3 easy couple more coming out of the woodwork here so they were at our literal watering hole there and on yeah oh, cool couple three easies probably end up taking that dark one there I want to try to hit that heart but their face hangs so low I feel like I'm gonna hit them in the face <laughs> Well, 
He's going down. I didn't get the heart. This one's going to take some practice to find where that heart's at. Because when they look at yeah. you, their face hangs so low, you almost don't even hit their body. So I'm curious to see. Maybe go for a brain shot. Yeah, yeah. Might have to try that one. I need to look at their um, x ray there and see where their brain is. They may be like the wildebeest that uh, Julia shot, <laughs> and they don't have a brain. Uh, yep, very true. Okay. So this one stopped bleeding, so it's uh, going to live another day. Oh, it escaped, huh? That's all yep. right. Yep. It happens. Tried the heart shot, and obviously I missed completely and missed the lung as well and just winged it, so... Yeah, I'm curious to see where I hit this one. I was aiming for heart as well. Pretty cool, though. The dark ones look pretty cool as well. And... Oh, we sh What? We must have shot under it that time. Okay. All right, so a little bit higher. Almost got it. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I'm with you, Quartz. The color on these animals is gorgeous. What do we got over there? That looks like something. Can't spot it. Is it behind a bush? And, or am I just seeing things? I swear, like, right there, it looks like there's an animal. But when I zoom in, all I see is bushes. And Killer B says we're at 33 likes and 35 watching. Wow, you guys are awesome. Thanks again for the support and for coming and hanging out with me and Mr. Non. We, uh, yep. I know we both look forward to this every Wednesday. And uh, I hate it when we have to miss weeks like last week. But hopefully that won't happen again. That seems pretty stable today, like I was saying earlier. So I need that one crash from my side. But other than that, I... I haven't noticed anything <laughs> anything bad, to be honest. No lag or anything. So it seems... Yeah, I did make some changes. Um, I One, I got on the phone with the internet provider. <clears throat> Excuse me. And... Uh, chewed them out <laughs> gave them an earful then they promised me to send me a technician out here um he never came and never showed up so i called and gave him another earful and i still haven't had a technician come by but i'm having a feeling they did something somehow on their end because since that last phone call everything's been running pretty good <laughs> haven't had no. any issues here comes a level three coming back in on uh, which direction is he coming from? East. Oh, I see. Just yep, to yep. the right of east. I want to see if I can that get one. him to come in because I want to. I want to get this heart shot. I need to find out where it's at, where to aim. He's coming in pretty fast too. Yeah, probably about an inch or two up from the sort of the bottom of the chest now. By the look of the pick. Oh, he's gonna make me shoot it off center. He's not gonna come right at me. Ah, oh, cheers, Goliath. Very uh, kind of you, man. Oh yeah, man, like it was a good one. <laughs> it was a good one. He's a he's got good taste. <laughs> wow, this guy. Do you have your antler antler rattler? Wow, well, say that five times uh, fast. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, never mind. It stopped. I think the heart's right here. Oh, it moved right as I shot, but I still think I got the heart. <laughs> I think the heart's right. Oh, oh no, he moved. <laughs> And where did that comment go? I mixed it. Uh, Austin Lewis, I have a uh, fiber optic. I'm supposed to be getting 350 down and 350 up, which every time I do a speed test, I actually get about 370 up and 370 down. But I was having intermittent dropouts. Uh, non would have disconnected six or seven times by now. So I don't know what happened with that, but we got a silver from this guy and we did get the heart. See, okay. I think I know where it's at now. It's actually pretty small from this, from the broadside. It's pretty slender. Hmm. 
But we managed both lungs and the heart, so that'll work. Yeah. I was trying to see if there was a brain, but it, I can't see much of a yeah, it's not thing in the... Uh... Yeah, that's what we need to go for one. now. We got it with the heart. We know the heart yep. works. We know spine works. Double lung does not work. Um, so, yeah, we need to try to get them in the... See if we can find their brain. Right between the eyes normally works. Yep, that's what <laughs> I was thinking. Right between the eyes, maybe a half inch above that line. Maybe not. We'll see. We just need to find some more of them now. Where are we at on the map? Okay. Excuse me. I've got the uh, hiccups today. I actually don't have any more need zones this way. I didn't make it this far up. But that doesn't mean they're not up here. So let's go take a look. Yep. Because I know they're further north. I actually went and checked um, that one place we load in. Uh, not the one with the cornfields, like you say. Um, yep. But the other place that we usually go. And I had uh, Gimsbach there as well. So they, ah, cool. Nice. They tend to kind of be all over the map, it seems. There was something up here. Scrub here. Yeah, a lot of tracks kudu. there. Bunch of kudu. Bunch of kudu. And Guillermo is here. How's it going, Guillermo? Welcome to the stream. Glad to have you with us. Yeah, let's let's go for a run on. We know it's Kudu right in front of us making that noise, and I'm not too worried about them. Uh, Chico's just rolled in as well. And hey, Chico. Chico, how's it going, Chico? Good to have you with us. Glad you made the stream, bud. But yeah, besides the miner, and I mean, what is that? Is that a bugle horn on top of that rock down there? I haven't done any of the missions or collectibles on this map, so. I've only done the ones I've come stumbling across, exactly. to be honest. I yep. haven't really gone looking. Exactly. I'm the same way. Making sure there's... Oh, there we go. I had a feeling there were some out there. There's two, three Yeezys. But I want to get over here and see what this bugle horn's all about here. Well, actually, let's see. Or easy Springbok there running up the side of the road. The uh, right of east, oh, it's behind yep. that bush. I sees it. I'm actually tempted to take a long shot on these uh, gym spot here. Where are we looking? Uh, straight east. It's 300 meters out, or that's what it says for me anyway. Can we lay down? Oh, way up it? there. Yep. Keep your eyes on it, because I'm going to shoot at it. Let me know if I hit it. <laughs> okay, if it's that one at the top there, I'm looking at. Oh, yeah. yeah. He's down. Apparently, it's, apparently he's dead. <laughs> yeah. And the other one's still there. Oh, is it? Yep. Oh. Still standing there. I can't see it when I lay down, though, I don't think. Nope. Whoa. Is it still there? I can't see it now. Yeah, yeah. Oh, okay, there it is. Highlight. Okay, I had to highlight it. Now that one I smacked, but uh, not in a good way. It's going down, though. I think I hit it in the intestines. <laughs> you, wanted, you wanted a side striped jackal. There's one in the trees just to the right of, and forward of where you shot that other one moving through slowly towards us. Wow. It's just gone behind the trees. I can't quite spot it now, but it was there a minute ago. Eagle eye non, man. I'm telling you, this this is why we call him eagle eye. <laughs> I mean, literally, I could just sit here and shoot stuff. I mean, he <laughs> spots everything. It's it amazes me. I saw his little legs walking behind the tree, so that's the only thing that gave it away. <laughs> well, let's go see what this little blue bugle looking thing is on this rock, and then we'll run over there and go pick up our uh, Gimsbach. The other one should have died as well. And Killer B says we're at 37 likes. You guys are awesome. Y'all are y'all are awesome. Man, I can't awesome. talk today. Yeah, I developed a lisp over the over the <laughs> stream period. <laughs> but no, you guys are amazing. Y'all, we can't pick this up. 
Can you pick this up? I don't know. I can't pick it up. Nope. Okay. Nope. So people are littering in Africa and we can't even fix it. That's great. I mean, isn't that one of those things from the, the World Cup? Whatever yeah, that's what it looks football? like. Those little, I don't know what they're called, little horns. <laughs> yeah. Ah, okay. Was this where you saw the... No, that's Kudu. Looks like a big golf tee, Mr. B says. It's a <laughs> well, Bubuzula. Is that how you say that? I don't know. Those were yeah, banned from yeah, the Africa yeah. FIFA World Cup. Is that why they put it in there? Kind of like a little Probably. Easter egg? Yeah. <laughs> okay. That's cool. Yeah, fake chow. I hear you. There's There are sometimes... Uh, there are a few words that get me every now and then, and I, I have a little bit of a lisp that rolls out. I have to concentrate, especially like SP words, of course. <laughs> but here's that one we shot and dropped. And then we'll have to go track the other one. It shouldn't have made it terribly far. There's only a female striped jackal as well. Often major. But we got a silver out of this one. And we just barely hit it in the spine there. It was 314 meters out. So this other one was a little bit further out. So that might be why we didn't hit the spine there. Okay. It looked like they were pretty much right next to each it other. It did. Still got a vital. Yeah, yeah, I probably got along. That, that would be my guess. Vuvuzela? I don't know why. That's just an impossible word for me to say. Unless I said it right, then there you Vuzula. go. Vuvuzela. <laughs> what? Vuvuzela. Vuvuzela? Vuvuzela. <laughs> <laughs> All right, here he is. He didn't make it terribly far. All right, I need to look at the x-ray this time. Let's see. Where... I don't see a brain in there. <laughs> Are these brainless animals? Check its, check its feet. There's <laughs> one down there. <laughs> I, I mean, but look. Uh, we're looking from underneath yeah, straight no. through. I see no brain material there. Nope. Chat, you guys got to let me know. I, I mean... These may What's be brainless in the animals. Of its jaw, though. See, right in the middle of its jaw, there's like a. When you had the the view from below, it was like um, but it was just its tongue or something. I don't. I don't know, know what that is. Yeah, I see what you're talking about. I don't know. Maybe that's it right there. I'm not sure. It, it slipped. <laughs> <laughs> and as Evan says, if you go around the rock, you can blow the horn. Seriously. Nah, I don't no. buy that. I Not think uh, you're yeah. pulling our leg there, Mister <laughs> Nez. <laughs> yeah, he wants us to run all the way back down there. Yeah, Keep and try. Nice try. <laughs> all right. Well, we still need to find a Jim's Bach and shoot him in the face because I want to see if they're really brainless or not. <laughs> yeah, for sure. Because from looking at that picture, I can see kind of where the brain would be if they were going to put something in there. <laughs> But yeah, I wonder if they just forgot or uh, didn't, that, didn't bother. That that's possible. That's very possible. Let's see. Let's go back that way, so northwest a little bit, because to that other watering hole up there. But yeah, I remember like Beard says, uh, Julia's video trying to find the brain on the the wildebeest. You know, she had an arrow sticking everywhere into his head, and still no brain. And they are very similar models, so. Who knows? Yep. And then Cody they says, realized what they got. <laughs> right? Cody says, draw a T over the face with the top lining up with the eyes and guaranteeing brain shot at the covered convergence of the lines between the eyes. Yeah, that's kind of what I was thinking there as well, Cody. That was my plan. That's where I plan to shoot anyway. And we'll see if there's a brain there. And wow, it's already, wow, we've only got like 26 minutes left, Non. This time's flew by. <laughs> oh, wow. Yeah. <laughs> Did not realize yeah, we were getting that close. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And we got some tracks up here on the left. I'm just pushing out into the open some so I can see them run if they ran. Kudu. Ah. 
Okay, now this one I might believe here. Mr. Goliath, he's never led me wrong. He says, you need to read the note in the building, and then you can pick up the horn. Okay. May have to try that uh, after the stream. Run back over there and take a look at that. You said those tracks were all kudus there and all? The ones I picked up, yep. Mm. There's a couple more just out here. I'm going to check, so see what these are. Looks like they're probably kudu, though. Well, if that's the case, let's... Uh... That watering hole straight west almost, it looks like. Yep. Let's run over this way. Check this watering hole. Man, this tall grass. <laughs> you can't see anything no, in yeah. it. <laughs> like Beard was saying earlier, it's a grass simulator. <laughs> <laughs> need a harvester or a lawnmower. Right. Fun. Yeah, we need to get one of you... Uh, FS19 players to bring your uh, cultivators and stuff over here. <laughs> there we go. We've got a group of them here. Now that one right there looks a little different. See it? It doesn't look like one of the dark ones, that level 2 female in the middle. Kind of goldy. Almost. Yeah, almost like a golden color. That could be interesting. That may be a different uh, fur type. I haven't seen that one before, I don't think. Uh, not that light. Normally the dark brown or the normal sort of color. So. And we're at three. It's a beige, I believe, says Wolverine. Okay. Good to know. Okay. Just a second while I mute my phone. I always forget to do Is that. Is that what that was? Yep. That's what that was. <laughs> there we go. Muted is taken care of. And yep, even Miss B is saying there's a see. Miss B knows more about the game than most people. I'm <laughs> telling you, she's she's underestimated. And as many well, times as she this, uh... tells me that you know she's thinking about going and playing Call of the Wild, and then she just disappears. I think she might be sneaking in some Call of the Wild time. Yeah, yep. Say, do you want to go up on this little hill here so we get a bit more yep. vantage? Sounds Otherwise good. As we're heading sort of down into a tree line there, I reckon. She's my secret weapon, says Beard. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you know, I, I wouldn't be surprised if she's the one, you know. You know how we, every now and then Beard will have like an, an off shot or something. That's when Miss B had to go get a drink. You know, the secret is Miss B's right, the one right. making all those shots there. Uh, I think that might be the secret. That's why y'all didn't stream when I came up there. Ah, I get it. Okay. The secret would have been out of the bag. All makes sense now. All makes sense. But yeah, there's not really any big ones in this group. So, oh, there's a four easy female. That's what I want. <laughs> Something behind the tree on the right, but I can't make it out. I can only just see a bit of color. Well, if it's not Just better than a four-easy female, once we get in the position here, I'll go for that four if you want to take out the uh, beige one. Uh oh. Are there some uh, even closer? Right next, right next to us. Yep, going prone. <laughs> He's just... Over a bit of a rise in some bushes, but... Uh, yeah, that's... Male. That's true, Beard. I know. I... I Bought a plane ticket, came all the way to Canada, and I still couldn't get Miss B to stream with me. I don't know. I mean, I even took a shower. I didn't stink. You know, I don't know what it was. She's... Four easy male. Oh, the uh, the one right here on us? Yep. Eh. He's, he's on his own, and then there's another dark brown female. A bit further over to the north, towards the north a little bit. See? 200 odd meters out. See, Beard, Beard's got my back. Miss B tried to say I didn't ask. But you see, it's right there in chat. It's in writing <laughs> proof. <laughs> one of these days, guys, one of these days, I'll get her, I'll convince her to come out on a stream with me. I may have to bribe her. I don't know. We'll see. <laughs> no, correction. Beard says, and Sean, we did just get back from hunting. Trust me, we stunk. No, I didn't stink. I took a shower. 
someone else <laughs> <clears throat> waited for like five hours after we were home to take a shower. She wasn't smelling me, I guarantee that. <laughs> oh, wow, we had some uh, jackals over here, too. Just took, uh -huh. just took off running. <laughs> uh. See, Miss B said I didn't stink. She says it right there. Yeah, because this level four female is a good, uh, if we keep going straight like this, she's a good position for me to try to shoot her in the face. Awesome. It almost looks like looking at their, the way the pattern is on their head, almost like right where that white meets in the middle or just above it. And Stace says, how do I be, I think you're asking, how do I become a mod? Um, the mod is a perk for my Patreons. It's, uh, I believe it's a $10 tier. And, uh, yeah, so that's a way that I can give back to them for, uh, Believing in me and helping the channel grow the channel is uh, they get the mod privileges and uh, get to kind of help out with the live streams. So if you are interested in that, I do have a link in the description for my Patreon. I'm going to go ahead and go prone because I have a feeling uh, at the top of this little hill here will be too close and they'll spook. Okay, no worries. And there is a war pig somewhere to our left. Oh man, Zoe. Ouch. <laughs> she said, I heard the only thing that stunk on the hunt was you two shooting. <laughs> that hurts. Although I wasn't shooting. I mean, I was I, I was shooting film, maybe. So yeah, I guess you could say my shooting was pretty bad. <laughs> oh, I thought you guys were down in those shots pretty good. <laughs> oh, well, yeah. now that kind of shooting, yeah. <laughs> All right, I'm 64. I want to try to get closer to the 50 there. Yeah, I was shooting whiskey, that's for sure. <laughs> that pecan-flavored whiskey, which I still hadn't been able to get yet, uh, was pretty good. And I'm not a big drinker, but I will tell you, I'd go for some pecan whiskey right about now. I'm about 30 meters behind you. All trying right. to catch up. All right, well, I'm in exactly 50 meters, so this is right where I want to be for my shot. Well, if they're going to start spooking, just take the shot. Don't wait for me. All righty. As long as you crawl slowly, they won't spook. Or they yeah, shouldn't. I'm crawling. Yep. Man, that beige one's pretty, though. Look at that color. Real pretty color. And that one we couldn't spot e earlier, I think, is at three right there. Let's see. I think we're going to have to aim, like, right there. Just right where the white meets up, just above that, would be my guess, where the brain is. And Beard said, so did everyone at Whitetail Camp. Didn't last long. <laughs> yeah, that pecan whiskey. I'm not a, a flavored whiskey guy at all. I'm not a real big drinker, but when I drink, I do for a whiskey but um i'm usually not a whiskey you know a flavored whiskey guy but that stuff was good uh oh careful non that's a mating call oh, okay had me worried I say i couldn't have spooked him i'm not making any noise <laughs> <laughs> zoe I'm says i'll crap. swap you 10 normals for that one beige <laughs> done <laughs> right <laughs> Um, okay, I'm just a little little behind you, but I'm in a good spot. All right. Well, I'm uh, just have your shot ready because I don't think I'm going to be a do, be able to do a countdown because she keeps wiggling her head and stuff. So as soon as I've yep. got the shot, I'll shoot. So just no worries. be on the ready. Oh, now she's going to lay down. Well, let's try this, right? Uh... Hold on, let my breath catch back. Oh, good thing I waited because she turned her head. <laughs> <laughs> All right, here we go. Three, two, one. 
Well, that wasn't red. I, I don't Did even know if I hit I hit her a couple times. I, I know once for sure she's going down, but I don't think that shot even red. Uh, is that blood right there? That's blood, and it was only a flesh wound, so I definitely didn't get her in the brain. Fail. But I don't even think I hit mine. They may not even have a brain, though, so we may be uh, shooting at nothing. Let's see. We got <laughs> some kind of non-vital or something here. So, Oh, no, a vital, actually. So she shouldn't go terribly far. Where did her tracks think go? I, only, I think I only got a flesh wound on mine again. Her tracks have kind of disappeared. They're back there. Done a bit of teleporting. Yep. Teleported or something. Yep. Oh, that's your blood. Okay. Yep. Oh, turns up the hill. I'm assuming mine went with the group, because they usually do. Uh, there's a body down up here. Okay. It should be her, hopefully. Oh, there's a bunch of them right here. Go slow, Norm. They're just right over the top of that hill. Oh, one just spooked. One didn't spook. What are they at? Let's try with the 7mm. Let's see if I can get this one in the brain. Oh, never mind. Come on. No, come back. Roll just over that rise. There we go. I think we got that one in the brain. Nice. Had to change the point of aim just a little bit. Well, let's see where we hit this first one. I bet I just missed it off to the right. I bet I bet it's right in here, and I was probably a little high. So, let's go see this one. I think we actually got it this time. And just a little one, but we did. So they do have a brain. <laughs> Kill. I'm trying to get a better angle to see exact. I kind of shot just right below the base of the horns there. And I shot from an angle, you know, from the side. So really just below the horns, in between the ear and the horns. Looks like that's where the brain is. Okay. Yeah. Like Cody's saying, the brain, the height lines up, looks like with the base of the ears there. So that's good to know. You got eyes on them again? There's something up here with quite a large set of horns by the looks of it. There was a three I just saw that went running away. I don't know if that was it. But we can most certainly head that way. And yeah, Destiny B. How's it going, Bethany? Good to see you. She said, nice shot. Thank you very much. Hey, Bethany. Yeah, I think I messed mine up. It's only a flesh wound. It doesn't look like it died. I'm not going to lie, Bethany. I miss the good old days, the good old competitions we used to have. I looked forward to doing Beard's uh, subscriber hunts and all that back in the day because it was, it was my goal. Me and, me and Bethany were... We're arch nemesis that got along. <laughs> that got along. We we were good friends, but we were always after each other trying to win. It was it was a, <laughs> quite a challenge. That girl can shoot, man. She is a great player at this game. It's always a pleasure to see you around, Bethany. Glad you could make it. Yeah, left. You left. To my left. Uh, I think you just oh. uh, right there. Oh. Three oh. easy. Yep. Fifty one meters. Oh, shooter, if, if you got a shot, is. I don't really have a good shot. I kind of do now, but <laughs> if you got a shot on her, take her. Tried for a brain shot and then, well, there's loads of them. Oh, she's down. 
But I think you hit her the second time. Yeah. I shot. I did shoot when you shot because I saw her act like she was going to take off running. We should still have integrity on it, though. Yeah. What'd you, you get? Wanna, you can pick it up. Oh, oh, I don't okay. Do you want to pick it up? or? Uh, yeah, yeah, I guess so. Okay. And, yeah, that can't be where you shot because, yeah, you, you hit it in the neck according to that. And that would have been a neck shot <laughs> if it, it showed you got zero um, penetration. <laughs> wow. Okay. But then, yeah, apparently I hit it in the spine. So, yeah, you still got 100% quick kill. So, yeah, but it's showing it from the wrong side as well because I showed it on the other side. Yeah, that seems to be a multiplayer yeah, that glitch. That That seems to be a seems multiplayer a get glitch where it doesn't show, you know, exactly where you shot it from, yep. per se. Did they all go running to the south? I think they did. This one did, anyway. Right into the wind, of course. Let's see if we can see him in this little opening here. We're not going to go chasing them because, uh, yeah, they're in the wind. <laughs> oh, Zoe. <laughs> Said if brains were dynamite, then Jim's bot couldn't blow their nose. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, don't see them there, Non. They probably went back into the thick stuff. Yeah. Keep on pushing north. We only got a few minutes left anyway. So we know they've got a brain, though. It's just uh, kind of difficult to hit it. Let's see, we had one going off this way here as a male. I'd like to get one more down before we end. If not, we may, uh, if we don't see one here soon, we may travel to the good old, uh, what Non calls the cornfields. And uh, Ooh. drop a buffalo. See if there's any buffalo hanging out there waiting on us. Buffalo are fun. They are. I got me 22 with me. <laughs> <laughs> they seem to like to charge you if you shoot them with a 22 first. Oh, I don't have my 22. Really? I hadn't tried that. Shoot them first with the yeah. 22? Oh, yeah, I shot one on Riki's with a twenty-two by accident, and uh, it decided to charge, so it seems to be a, a fairly decent trigger. <laughs> There's one to the south by itself, though. Yeah, Bethany says do it. <laughs> 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 she wants to see someone get run over. They're pretty good <laughs> at getting run over. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, what was it, at the beginning of the stream? You got nailed by a kudu. <laughs> Well, yeah, that was an uh, unexpected. <laughs> Came out of nowhere. Well, I'm not seeing any that are just sticking out right in the way. So why don't we do that, Non? Why don't we jump over there and see if we got any buffalo hanging out? Wouldn't be an Africa stream if okay. we didn't uh, drop a buffalo. Up. Oh. They're not here. What? Oh. The, the wrong time. Are we at the wrong time? Let's see. Yeah, we're a little, a little early. Oh, that's right. Yours come later. Mine come earlier. Yep. I get mine around about half ten, between half ten, half eleven-ish. Yep, they're a little, little later. But I might have some down over here, so we'll go for a run real quick. And also, there could be... Jim's Bach up here. I don't know. I haven't hunted up here for him. So we'll just go for a run real quick, see what we run into, and see if we can't uh, find us another animal to close it out. And I bet on purpose, Mrs. B, I was protecting uh, Wrecked from a charging bear, wasn't it? <laughs> I don't know if I remember. <laughs> Yeah, he was just doing it, being a uh, bodyguard. Yep, yep. Threw myself in the danger zone. <laughs> Zoe says, I'm still using just the 243 and free ammo. 
I'm level 13 and seeing how far I can go with the hobo gear. The 243 is a great gun. I mean, you can technically kill everything in the game with it. So, I mean, they, you, you could go as far as you wanted, technically. It's a great little gun. I, I, I like that. Yep. Little gun. Uh, that's true, Mrs. B, you did. And, um, yeah, Bethany, you know, Ricky was there. We were actually surrounded by bears. They were all around the lake, so <laughs> he was working his charm. Yeah, the bear bait charm. I'm not seeing yep. anything out here. Ah. Hmm. I don't want to go down into that valley if there's nothing down there. So we'll stay up here. And you're right, Zoe, the 243 is underrated. And Austin says he got a new coyote decoy today. Very, or he didn't say today. I guess I added that. <laughs> <laughs> but very nice. Wow. Not seeing a thing. She get pretty good distance, view distance up here. Still only going to render in at about 4.50, oh, though. Slow down. Max distance. Oh. Eight minutes. Slow cool. down. Annie. Oh, whoops. It just spooked. Edit. Oh, it just spooked. We'll wait for it to... We'll just walk towards it, and when it stops... Oh, there's a group of them over there. Okay. There's a seven, there's a three, and there's an eight. So one of those is going to go down for the stream ender, and I think it's going to be that eight if he turns around and comes back. I'll shoot one with a 22 and see if I can get it to charge. And then uh, I'm throwing myself in front of it. There you go. <laughs> well, if he comes within 150, I'll... <clears throat> excuse me. I'll take the shot at 150. If he gives me some kind of angle anyway. Not if he's just walking like that. Yeah, isn't he, Bethany? He's a, he's a pretty nice-looking beast, this guy. Maybe I can scoot over here some. Get him more of a broadside. Because trying to get the off-angle spine shots somewhat difficult on these guys because they're so fat. <laughs> <laughs> well, he may come close enough. He may get shot in the brain with the forty-five seventy. Nice. He'll have to definitely stop for a brain shot, though. Let's see what, what distance. We're at 100 if he stops right there. Come on. Stop, big guy. Maybe if I stand up, he'll stop. Nope. All right. Well, we're about to just take him with the 7mm and a spine shot then. Whenever you're ready. Hopefully, anyway. And three, two, one. Nope, I hit him in the butt. I hit the buffalo, but it's running away. What? I, think. I did like nothing oh. to him. Holy cow. Unload. Shoot the eight mythical. Well, I've hit him at least twice for sure. He's still on the move. And he's still at... Oh, he just now went to 50 to 75. Hit him again. <laughs> They're tough, man. These buffalo. Well, I hit it three times and it just kept running. I hit it again. <laughs> wow. What's this one doing over here? What distance is that? Oh, wow, that's a ways out. But it's the end of the stream, so why not? Let's take a pot shot at it. I wish it was closer to 300, because I don't think it is. We hit it. Well, hit it again. Man, we just can't seem to drop them today. That's why... Not this. Don't want to have a bar of it. 
These are the one animals in game that I do go for a brain shot on usually because that's the only shot I usually feel confident enough to make. But I don't think either... Oh, wait. Nope. That male died. So let's go pick him up. See how many bullets we put into him. Because you said you got him with the 22, huh? The 7 I did. The nice. 7 hard was running... But he was like three times, but he didn't die. And he didn't come charging. He just ran off like a chicken. <laughs> I don't know what's going on. There's a vital hit here, though. Yeah, that was that uh, that mythical I shot at. Okay. So, see, even with a vital, he took off running for a long time. <laughs> Zoe says, keep Another the shooting vital. gallery going. <laughs> <laughs> Another vital. See, I, I I thought I got a couple good shots on it, but look at it go. Is that? Oh. No, that's your that's your seven very hard there. <laughs> Keep shooting it with the twenty two. Maybe it'll come charge us. <laughs> <laughs> Keep trying. <laughs> Looks like I got another vital hit here as well. So that's three vital hits into this thing, and it's still just on the move. Wow. <laughs> I wonder if they reversed the buff or the uh, nerf that they put on the buffalo. Because remember, there for a while you could get the spine with anything. Yeah, true. I um, don't know. That'll be something we may have to test and get back to you on. Because, uh, yeah. Put three vitals in this guy. Oh, here's one dead. It's not the. Is this the one you were just shooting at? No, I don't. What? Well, no, it wouldn't have died, would it? Well, we've got one no, dead. Oh, this was it's another the female one. I shot. I got her in the stomach, flesh, and pelvis. One down, just down a bit further ahead of you as well. Which might be a right mythical. That should be the mythical. Yep. All right. Well, let's see how many times we hit this guy and where we hit him. We know we got a few vital shots on him. Uh, what? Hey, the first shot. Oh, I did shoot further back, but I was trying to hit his. I just barely missed the spine and got him in the pelvis. Oh, man. <laughs> so those were all bad shots by me. I don't see any twenty twos in there, but we still got seventy five percent integrity. So not bad. I didn't shoot at your eight mythical. Oh, shot okay. The seven hard. So. Alrighty. Um, yeah, he probably took off. But with that, I want to say thanks again, Non, for joining me as always. It was a blast. Uh, sure was, man. Thanks for having me. Been a great laugh. And G-Man Ellis, how's it going? You caught just the end of the stream. So I want to thank each and every one of you for coming and hanging out with us. Uh, it's always a blast. Have a good time hanging out with y'all every Wednesday. Do me a favor before we end it. If you haven't already, smash that like button. Hit the subscribe if you haven't already. Tap the bell next to it. And we will see you guys next time. Hey, guys.